Okay, all so for this recipe, it calls for one onion diced and one bell pepper diced. So that's what we have here. I did some prep work a couple of days ago, so there was that. It also calls for one can of tomatoes. I had a whole whack of tomatoes in the fridge that needed to be used. So I diced them up and they're in this container. So we are going to take 28 ounces out and uh, put, use that today. It also calls for some chicken stock. So there's three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. It calls for some minced garlic, three cloves of minced garlic. So again, I'm gonna use my trusty handy dandy garlic. It calls for chicken thighs, but I don't have any chicken thighs in the house, so I'm going to use these chicken breasts, and I'm gonna cut them in half, and then cut them in half again to uh, use. So I got two chicken breasts for that. And then it's also another meal that usually calls for pasta. But as it's a little chillier out today, I think we're gonna go with some mashed potatoes. So I usually use about eight medium potatoes, but as you can see, these are varying sizes, so this should be enough to feed the family of four uh, potato wise and then as per always uh, spice to your taste so let's go get in And there you have it, all the potatoes are ready to go. Let's go get the chicken started. Okay y'all, so I don't have any cooking oil, but I do have some cooking spray. So we're gonna use that. And kinda just coat our baking or our frying pan. And then hang on a second, I'm missing something. I was missing my handy dandy tongs. So we're just gonna get that heated up a little bit. Okay. And then as everybody can see, I did have my chicken breasts. So they're ready to go. Well, most of them, one of them was being stubborn so it didn't get done, so. So we are going to pan sear the chicken. Oops, sorry everybody, I kind of knocked there. Okay, so we're gonna let that do its thing. And when it's ready to move on to the next step, I'll be back.
right all it has now been another five minutes and I've cooked them a couple of times to try and evenly cook them because I'm not doing this I'm not following the, the directions completely because I don't trust chicken when it's cooking so I'm making sure that it is fully cooked before I actually do this so now I'm gonna take the chicken put it off into another container like so and now we move on to the good part so now in here we add a where is my there it is a little bit more cooking spray now I don't have any mushrooms so I'm not doing mushrooms but you all know there are my onions and my peppers my onions and my peppers okay next we add our sweet broth We are going to add some more uh, paprika. And just for a little bit of a, a Cajun kick, some cayenne. Don't want too much because we don't want too much of a kick. Alright, that should be good enough. And last but not least, we're going to add our minced garlic. Alright, that should do it. We're going to give it a quick little stir around here. And then, of course, last but not least, we are going to add some of our pepper tomatoes from our container. So, now we want to bring that to a boil so that it all gets nice and cooked evenly. So I will be back with you all when it's time to put in the chicken. Okay y'all, looks like it's time to add the chicken again. So we are going to just kind of get it in there, cover it in the sauce. Ah, it's trying to escape on me. Keep a couple pieces out because, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's now in there. The chicken is now in there. 
And we are going to let it simmer. I'm going to turn it down and we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. All right, everyone, so you saw me sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch in there to help it thicken up because it wasn't thickening as nicely as I was hoping it would. But there it is. It is now ready to go out on the plate. So I'll be back with you guys in a moment. All right, everyone, and there you have it. Very simple, very easy meal of chicken cacciatore with my substitute of mashed potatoes instead of pasta. And as you guys can see, I sprinkled about 10 cents worth of cheese on top of there because, well, our household and cheese. Gotta have some cheese. But I will put down at the bottom of the screen, as normal, how much it costs total and how much per person. And I actually have leftover sauce, so that is going to come in handy. And I'm going to freeze it for next time. We hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, maybe think about giving it a thumbs up. Come join the family, and don't miss out on any more awesome cheat meals for your family. We'll see everybody in the next one. Bye!